it's been a few days now and I'm back in the grow room just having a little look and the uh, pepper plants that I planted is right here um, and it seems to be growing quite well my name's Luke and I come from a small town called Carnarvon in North Wales I'm a chef by trade but in my spare time I like to come up with weird and wonderful business ideas this time, to keep me motivated, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So sit down, relax, and let's build the business together. In this video, we'll be looking at our other pollination plants and putting them into plastic cups like the others. If I just open up here, I'll let you see inside. As you can see in the corner there, I have some new plants. So what these are, are some sweet pepper plants. I'll only be using one of these to cross pollinate, but I'll be pulling them out of the soil that they're in at the minute and putting them into cups like that one. Also, if you have a look right in the corner there, the ghost chili has grown quite considerably and just at the top there there is a flower forming so maybe we'll be able to cross pollinate that one with the others at the same time so I'll get all the plants downstairs and we'll put the ghost chili and one of the pepper plants into cups like these okay I'll get on and do that so I've bought all the plants out of the grow room and they're all downstairs so there's the Carolina Reaper chocolate which is uh, not looking too good but it's actually had some new growth since we last looked so there's new leaves starting um, the dragon's breath chili plant there and as you can see on the top there that's uh, creating flowers as well and also the reaper yellow carolina reaper yellow and you can see some flowers coming through there too so both the drag both the dragon's breath plants and both the carolina reaper plants are bringing out flowers and if you have a look at the tallest of the ghost chilies, you can just see one one flower right in the top there. So um, we've got three different plants creating uh, creating flowers at the minute. So we'll be able to cross pollinate them in the next video. Um, as I said in the previous episode, um, I thought I'd be able to create a three part series where I'd. Uh, cross pollinate but because the plants were a bit late creating the flowers I think it's going to have to be a five part series so in this episode I am going to be transplanting that ghost chili into one of the plastic pint cups and also in my new plants here and um, they're all different peppers We've got the uh, Berdigo pepper uh, right in the back there. I'll be planting, taking one of them out the soil and sticking them in the uh, plastic pint glasses too. I've bought some different pint glasses this time. Um, they're a bit thinner, so they'll actually be able to take the plastic without the polystyrene so it'll give me enough room in the bottom there to add the uh, nutrients that I need to so I'll get on and put some black gaffer tape around two of the cups and uh, get these ready and then I'll uh, come back and transplant one of the pepper plants and the ghost chili into the pots as well uh, I'll be right back 
there we go so I've put my black tape around the glasses the plastic glasses just to make sure that no light gets to it um, or it'll create some uh, algae in the water so um, the first plant I'm gonna take out is this ghost chili plant trying very hard not to break the roots there we go roots look pretty healthy on that one right I'm just gonna plant this one in the plastic container there and uh, put it in here and I'll be right back So the ghost chilli is now in the pot and I have created a little label for it. I will just uh, pop that onto it so I don't get confused with uh, which plant is which. There we go. Right, and what I've also done is I've pulled the... Uh, Bendigo pepper out of the pot and what I'm trying to do is get rid of most of the soil so I'll shake off the soil on this and then um, I'll give it a little rinse and uh, cold water just so I can get the roots out of the uh, most of the soil I'll uh, go and rinse the roots and I'll be right back so I went ahead and planted the bendigo sweet pepper into the pot so there we go now we've got our five peppers i'll be crossing the other four peppers with the dragon's breath chili pepper plant um i'll also be using the large dragon's breath that we've got in the aero garden there <laughs> but what i've also decided to do <coughs> is pull the flowers off the um, ghost chili and I've also topped the plant uh, using the fimming method so uh, removing 90% of the top top leaves just to give it a bit more length because what I saw was all the flowers were just growing around the center here and there was no other nodes for the flowers to grow so we'd only get about three or four at most so I've now pulled the, pulled the flowers off so we should get a bit of bushing out around the bottom and then uh, a few more flowers hopefully. I do hope that this Reaper chocolate makes a, a pretty good recovery. Um, it's looking a bit small at the minute and um, but there's as you can see around the bottom there's quite a few uh, pieces of new growth around the bottom so all there's left to do now is to water the uh, two plants down and give them some nutrients and um, what I've done is I've used the same mixture as I had in the last one so for every four litres of water I put one teaspoon of the Miracle Grow all purpose liquid plant food and half a teaspoon of Epsom salts. So I've got that mixture here. Let's get it into the plants. Start off with the sweet pepper. There we go. The roots uh, reach the bottom, so it should be enough water in there for them. And then the ghost chili. Let's remove that. There we 
Tu. Okay, so I'll take all the plants back into the grow room upstairs and then I'll come back in a few days just to check them out and to uh, let you know how the these transplanted plants are doing. I'll see you in a bit. It's been a few days now and I'm back in the grow room just having a little look and the uh, pepper plant that I planted is right here um, and it seems to be growing quite well. It's trying to uh, branch out its leaves outside the pot and uh, trying to grow between uh, up to the grow light up top there. Um, also the ghost pepper chili plant has started to uh, branch out a little bit. Um, it should start creating new growth in a few days. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Um, as you can see, um, there's not much yellowing left on the plants. Uh, the miracle grow has done its thing. Um, there's a couple of leaves, one on that one there and one on the bottom there on my dragon's breath chili. Um, I'll remove them and uh, hopefully the plants will will stay healthy. So on the next video I will hopefully have enough flowers to cross pollinate um, some of the chili peppers that I've got here. So I'll be filming that and uh, giving you kind of an introduction on how to cross pollinate. Um, if they're not ready in time, then I've got an idea for another video and I'm going to be buying a couple of things, a couple of hydroponic um, things. I'll uh, let you know about them in the next video. Anyway, um, that's all for now. I'll see you on the next one. If you like the video guys, please subscribe. We'll be giving away free prizes after we reach a thousand subscribers. Uh, please also like and comment. We like to know what you think of our videos. We'll uh, see you on the next video.